Good morning, good morning everyone. Welcome to Miss Olive's Neighborhood Workout. I'm Olive, I use she, her pronouns, and I'm coming to you today on this snow day from the unceded land of the Wampanoag people here in Massachusetts. Have a seat, make yourself comfortable. Ah, so today our practice is moving in the morning, a gentle and grounding movement practice. We're going to begin by grounding in our senses, in this moment, in our bodies, in our spaces, using your sight, your hearing, your sense of smell and taste. Arrive in this moment. Perhaps you're still finishing a cup of coffee or tea. Take a moment to enjoy and be present fully with this experience. And then let's bring our awareness to the sensations in our body, to the places where our body connects with the chair, the couch, the earth, wherever it is that we find ourselves. Notice the sensations that arise at these points of contact. Allow yourself to feel supported connected and grounded. And then we bring our attention to our breath, wherever it is in your body that you notice your breath. Perhaps you notice your in-breath in your nostrils and your out-breath on your upper lip. Perhaps you notice the rise and fall of your chest. Maybe your awareness settles in your belly as it expands and releases with each in-breath and each out-breath. Or maybe you have difficulty connecting with your breath, perhaps placing your hand on your chest or your belly and noticing the way the breath moves through your body. Keeping your attention on your breath, I want to take a minute to explore our intention. What is it that motivated you to press play today? What is it that motivates you to move? Bringing our awareness to our intention. For myself, movement practice is often a support for my mental well-being. It's a way in which I enjoy feeling strong. Not to say that I can deadlift 140 pounds. I can barely do a bicep curl with 10 pounds. The strength isn't about numbers, but it's about being present in my body, feeling the flow of energy, feeling that movement, feeling that sense of connection. We live in a culture of distraction. We live in a place that values the intellect, the mind. Now this is a wonderful thing. But sometimes I live in my mind and away from my body. And so this practice connecting me with my body, it connects me with my truth and this intimacy with my truth is a place of great power. This is the place of my strength. And so this is my intention, to connect with my body, to be more intimate with different ways of knowing as I move through the world. And so what is your intention? It can be anything. It doesn't have to be quite that involved but just knowing it, knowing it as you sit here and as we begin to move together. And so with that, we are going to take three deep breaths together. And on the third breath, I am going to stand up. You can stay seated or join me if you like, whatever it is that serves you this morning. 
and we will begin with some gentle stretching. And set. Feet firmly planted on the ground, hip distance apart, parallel to each other. My hands are gently placed on my thighs. I'm going to take a deep breath in and reach up and fill my lungs. And then I'm going to let it go. And another deep breath in, filling my belly as I reach to the sky and let go and one more deep breath in if you want shift your weight press into your heels reach up and let it go all right are we ready everyone to warm up for today set that to the side all right we are going to start taking our chin to our right shoulder and then forward chin to shoulder and forward once more shoulder and forward chin to the left shoulder and forward again gentle and small movements hold it here let's shrug those shoulders up and release shrug them up and release how are they feeling today mine are tight always so tight one more and now soften those knees take a deep breath in reach up exhale arms out to the side palms up knees are soft we are going to reach over to the left you have two options you can reach over your ear and come back to center or you can reach across your chest and come back or I'm sure there's many other options. Actually, those are the two I'm showing today. And so let's inhale and reach to the left. Exhale, return to center. Inhale, reach. And as you exhale, squeeze those abdominals grounding in your core. Two more, reach and center and reach and center and hold it here. Adjust those shoulders, shake out any tension. And now over to the right and center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, return. Inhale, open your side. Exhale, engage your core. Two more. And the last one. And drop it down and shake, shake, shake that out. Inhale, reach those hands on. Place those hands on your shoulders. Knees are soft, chest is open, shoulders are down. I'm gonna actually take a little bit of a wider stance because that feels good. Again, listening to our bodies is the most important thing. Adjust as necessary. And now we are going to rotate from our waist. Our lower body will stay solid as we twist gently to the left and then to the right. My chin and chest, Stay in alignment. Even though I could look further over that shoulder, I am not. I am engaging with my core, holding my spine straight, moving from side to side with my breath. Two more on each side. And last one on each side. And drop it down. Take a deep breath in. And hold those hands up at a Y. I'm going to take an even wider stance. So here we are. We're going to warm up. Begin to move into the hips. And so I'm going to come down. And let's start tapping that hip crease. I'm going to show you this side. As I come down, my butt comes back. And then I come up. As I come up, I'm really squeezing those abdominals. Now, maybe you can touch the middle of your thigh. Maybe you can touch your knee. Perhaps you can touch your shin. Maybe some of y'all can touch your toes. Wherever you are, we are exploring this movement in a slow way. This is not aerobic. We're connecting. Can you feel those hamstrings? Engage the core as you come up. Again warming up that posterior chain 
Moving into our lower bodies, connecting with our hips and our glutes, squeezing those glutes too as you come up. And now one more each side. Last one right here, reach it up and release. All right, if you need balance support, perhaps you're seated while you do this, or maybe you have your chair near you, we're gonna start with the lower body. So, knee lift. Option one is just tapping forward with those toes. Option two is a low knee. Option three is a higher knee, perhaps your thigh comes parallel to the floor. And now, if you want to add the arms, all right, we're gonna see if I can do this. We are going to raise the opposite up of the opposite arm and leg. We're moving in slow motion. The slower you go, the more challenging this move. This is our ladder climb. I'm reaching up, I can hear my shoulders cracking this morning. And maybe you come a little bit lower, wherever you are. We're warming up, I'm working on our balance right here. Maybe you're just doing the lower body. And again, maybe you're doing this when you're seated. Or maybe you're wandering off to refill your coffee. Nothing wrong with that either. We're gonna do one more on each side. Last one right there, and take a deep breath. Exhale, let it go, and gentle side to side step. <clears throat> All right, this is the place that we will come back to today, our side step. It can be a small side step, or you can take it wider. Whatever works for you. This is just a gentle, gentle workout. We're not really raising the heart rate too much, but getting that blood flowing for sure. I mean, hopefully it's flowing already, but you know what I mean. All right, we are going to transition to a hamstring curl in three, two, one. Hands on hips, curl legs back. Shifting our weight from side to side. If hamstring curl doesn't work for you, just do a toe tap side to side. I'm gonna show you the side. What does this look like? Some folks call this a horse kick. I'm kicking back towards my glutes, leading with my heel. All right, if you want to add an upper body move, let's just gently bring those shoulders out to the side for six, five, four more, then sidestep in three, two, one, and one side to side. All right, let's see. I, you'll notice I am moving to my right because I want to have room to take two steps to the left. And I'm gonna do that in three, two, one, and step, step and tap, step, step and tap. These can be small steps. They can be wider steps. How are your hips feeling today? How loose is your body? What are you, what's working for you? And if you want to add an upper body move, I'm gonna add a little bicep curl right here. Step, step and tap, step, step and tap. Three more. Step, step and tap, step, step and tap. Two more, then we'll go back to our side step. Single side step, last one, right here, and side to side, swinging those arms. Oh, maybe I'm gonna swing those arms higher and higher until I am pressing out. Tricep, pressing to the side, a windshield wiper movement. And let's switch it over to a bicep curl in three, two, one, and other side. Connect with the top of your arms. Arms can be anywhere if they're closer to your body, that's fine. Side to side. Let's do four more. Three more, then hamstring curls in two. One, and one, and curl those legs back. Hands on our hips. All right. 
side. If you want to add an upper body movement, let's scissor those arms across our chest. Alternating arm on top. Checking in with your breath. Connecting with breathing deeply as you move. Five more. Four more. Then back to our side step in three, two, one. And one side to side. Take a deep breath and you'll see now I am walking my way over to my left and we're going to take two steps to the right in three, two, one. Step, step and tap, step, step and tap. Again, whatever side step works for you and if you want, we're going to transition and turn that tap into a knee. Again, this can be a small knee, a low knee, a high knee, whatever's working for you. But let's do that right here. Step, step and knee, step, step and knee. Step, step and knee. All right. If you want to add, let's see, what arm movement? Let's add, if you want to add a chest press. Maybe you're just doing a chest press. Maybe you're doing a chest press and a march. Maybe you're dancing to a good song. Let's see. Ah, uh, maybe a little Fleetwood Mac. I don't know. What's on your radio? One of these days, I'm going to get some music going. I'll add a little playlist to these videos. So many ideas. It's a burden to be an air sign sometimes. All right, two more each side. And this is our last one. We're gonna drop our hands, single knee right here. And lift and lift. And lift it lower and lower until you're tapping those feet, tapping those toes forward. We're gonna go back to our side step. Three, two, one, side to side. Swing those arms. Take a deep breath. Oh, and let it go. And now slower and slower until you're just shifting your weight, gently swinging your arms. Connect with that core, always engaging with the core. The core, like the breath, we come back to again and again. And here we are, feet firmly planted on the ground. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Another deep breath in and leave that left arm up, right arm down, reach over. Open that whole left side of your body from your toe to your fingertips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale, both arms up again. Exhale, drop the left arm. Keep the right arm up and reach it over. Open. Inhale. Exhale and release. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, bring them to a 90 degree angle, chest high. Press them back. Inhale, open the front of the heart. Exhale, curl forward, open the back of the heart. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, open your upper back and release. Roll those shoulders back and down. Soften your knees. Backstroke, let's do one side and the other one side and the other and now let's roll both shoulders forward opening your upper back even more deeply and now let's freestyle swim it forward and the other side reaching lengthening opening and last one right there and shake, shake, shake it out. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. I'm going to grab my chair for this stretch. If 
you need a wall or a chair for balance support, I'm going to hold that chair with my right hand, shift my weight to my right foot, and cross with my left. And I'm going to take an inhale with lifting up that left arm and reaching over and really feeling that opening in my hip. Take a deep breath. You're going to hold this stretch for three, two, one, and release. And now other side, using the wall or a chair for balance support as you need it. My left hand is on the chair. I shift my weight to my left foot. Soften that knee though, don't lock it. I cross my right ankle over my left and take a deep breath in, reaching up and over with my right arm. Breathing into that hip to that whole side of my body. Holding it for three, two, one, and release. Shake, shake, shake that out. All right, let's keep that weight on that left foot and we're gonna rotate that right leg. Hip, knee, and ankle, all in one. Little circles and reverse direction. And now shift your weight, shake it out, and that left leg circle, knee, ankle, and hip. Little circle and a reverse direction. And set that leg down. I'm just going to move that chair a little out of the way. All right, I'm sending my butt back. My hands are in my thighs. I'm moving towards my knees, and I'm going to circle those knees. This can be done seated as well. And reverse direction on those knee circles. And come slowly back up. Take a deep breath, Ooh, let it go. And now, maybe I need that chair again after all. Shifting that weight to that right foot, I'm just gonna circle the left ankle. Taking that foot off the ground, reverse direction. And drop it down, shake, shake, shake it out. Other ankle, crack, 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 go the ankle. And reverse again, drop it down. And feet firmly planted on the ground. Take a deep breath in. Reach up. Fill your lungs. And release. Take another deep breath in. Fill your belly. Feel it expand. Reach it up. And let it go. And one more deep breath in. Pull that breath all the way to your feet. Feel your feet on the earth as you reach up and open. And let it go. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Until we meet again, take care.